Hello, and welcome to Dippin' Dots instructional video for Dixel Controller Programs and Settings. There are different varieties of Dixel controllers. Most commonly in use are the XR20CX and the XR30C seen here. Although they look different, they're very much the same. We'll start with the XR30C, as it's the most common in use. Basic Programming This controller is very simple and easy to use. As you can see, it has a digital display readout and four buttons located on the right hand side. There's a set key, a defrost button, an up key, and a down key. In order to check the set point of our freezer, all we have to do is press the set key one time and release it. This will show the set point of the freezer. To change the set point, we hold down the set key until the temperature comes up and begins to have a flashing light. This means it's ready to program. Using your up and down arrows, you can set it for whatever you'd like. However, we recommend negative 40, so let's keep that. Now we'll access the core programs and advanced programs of the controller. To do this, we hold down the set key and the down arrow simultaneously until it flashes the letters H, Y. After this, we repeat the steps until it goes into our PR2 program. This is the main program control of the controller. Now that we're in programming mode, we can cycle through the programs, starting with HY. The value of HY is set to 5. Next we have the LS, which is set to negative 58. US, negative 35. OT, 0. ODS, 1. AC, 3. CCT, 0. CON, 60. COF, 5. CH, CL, CF, degrees F, RES, N, IDF, 120, NDF, 0, DFD, set, DAD, 0, ALC, AB, ALU, negative 27, ALL, negative 58, ALD, 120, DA0, 24.0 TBA Y 0 A1 ALR A0P CL I1P CL I1F LHT DID 0 NPS 15 ODC No PBC PTC REL 4.2 PTB 82. And that brings us back to the top of our settings. Now if you'll notice, I had one setting that needs to be changed. To change a setting, simply select the setting that you would like to change. 
In this case, we are going to transfer to our ALD setting. Once we have it selected, we can use our down arrow to change it to 60, which is where it should be set. Once it's changed, press the set key to lock it in. Now that all of our settings are correct, we can exit the program mode. This is done by pressing the set key and up arrow simultaneously, which brings us back to our main display. Now for an explanation of the meanings of these different setting codes. We start with HY, which is the degrees between cycles. LS is the low set point. This is the lowest setting the temperature can be set to. US is the upper set point. It's the highest temperature the freezer can be set to. OT is offset temperature used to adjust the display temperature to match the inside of the freezer. ODS is the initial start delay, controls the amount of time from power up to compressor start. AC is the short cycle delay, delays the compressor start in the event of short cycle. CCT, continuous cycle on time, the amount of time the cycle can run. CON, compressor on amount of time in the event of probe failure. COF, compressor off amount of time, compressor will not run in the event of probe failure. CH, cooler heat selection. CF, display temperature in Fahrenheit or Celsius. RES, display the decimal point. This is for Celsius only. IDF, the interval between defrost. NDF is the length of the defrost cycle. DFD is the display function during a defrost. DAD is the display delay after a defrost before the display goes back to normal. ALC, the alarm information source. ALU, high temperature alarm, the temperature at which the alarm will sound if the freezer is too warm. ALL, low temperature alarm, temperature at which the alarm will sound if too cold. ALD is the alarm delay, amount of time a freezer must be out of temp range before alarm sounds. DAO, initial alarm delay, amount of time a freezer has to make temp before an alarm sounds. Audible alarm silence, closes on keypad. Open or close terminals during alarm, not used. I1P setting, input activated by contact, not used. I1F, digital input configuration is not used. DID is the time between external alarm and signal. NPS is the amount of pressure switch trips before alarm, this setting is not used. ODC, compressor activity with door open, not used. PBC, probe type setting, tells controller how to read the temperature. And now we move on to the XR20CX. This controller works the same as the one you saw before, it just has a few more buttons. The keys that it has include your up and down arrows, just like the other one a day and night setting button, which we do not use, a backlight button, defrost button, and also a set key. It works the exact same way. To check the temperature of your freezer, you simply press the set key. This will tell you the set point of the freezer. To change your set point, Hold it down until you see the set point with a flashing light above it. Then you can change the set point. To access your programming, you'll hold the set key and down arrow simultaneously until the display flashes HY. Once it flashes HY, you'll repeat the same process until it shows PR2. You may now pause the video as these are the core functions you will need to properly set a controller. These are the main settings and the others don't really matter.
Thank you very much for watching.